Boom! What's up everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, and what time is it? It's time for chest leg combo rehab day. Yeah, my brother kind of tweaked his knee in playing basketball, which I keep telling him he's Caucasian. He just won't I'm listen. Tall. I got long arms. You do have long arms. I've seen long arms and neck. But I can still I, get all kinds of rim. All kinds. Now, I look at, this is actually multitasking. The spot combined. Yes. With the camera. See, look, there's my hand. Beautiful hand. It looked like you were caressing my face. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's all about the angles. It's a great angle anyway. So, uh, so how you been, man? How's your games been? You've been off this channel since my surgery. Yeah, I haven't. It's, well, it's been like a whole week and a half. By but, the way, here's me doing leg press again, which is a huge accomplishment. Yeah, but look at the form. Mark's going down nice and mellow. Explode up. Touch the bottom. Um, no, actually, I've been doing good. I mean, I feel I'm about 206, 207. I'm a little, light, a little down a few pounds. I think I'm pretty shredded. I think you'll see here in the video. I think I got some, uh, some shred going. There's a lot of shred going on. I feel pretty good. But you know, it's, it, hey, you know what? We've been preaching the clean diet. You know what? We have some treats once in a while. But, but you know what? Eating clean, keeping the body. I've, I've probably gone more and more organic as, as time's gone on. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to. You know, I eat mostly organic. Um, but I'm not going to go tell people to spend their entire bank account no. trying to go organic. But there's but, proven there's certain things that are better organic than others. Like bananas, you don't need to go organic, right? Because it's got. Did a you really deal. hold the camera that way? Which way did I hold you it? You held it straight up, man. What did, I, what did I do? I think you were high. It's okay, man. Nobody cares about the quality of this shit anyway. For God's sakes, I film in my office on a desk with a camera on a little tripod, and I scream with no one around. <laughs> Nobody cares. The quality on here is garbage. But you would think with your filming experience, this is this is lack. But this goes back, you know. It's sort of this time. It reminds me. It was almost this time last year, right? When I was training for my show. Yeah. Oh, you want to go to this? You want to talk to this? I, this was amazing, dude. Look at that. Look at how shredded he is. Seriously, he's um. I think he's like 87 to 92 weeks out. I think this is good <laughs> conditioning right here for that. I'm pretty far good out. conditioning. I feel good. But you know what? It goes to the point I'm making. I've been working 70 hours a week, literally. Mark's been working same the same. Here. I right? took two hours off for surgery. Training my kids. You know what? But you just find, you make the time. Diet doesn't change. My diet didn't have to change at all just because I'm busy. I just, you have to prepare, right? You just have to prepare. Well, here's the thing. Also, I mean, we're working on prehab and a lot of, both of us have stepped back and are kind of looking at keeping our body healthy through the years. And I mean, we're doing issues to fix our hips and everything. And I do believe that the healthy diet, along with the prehab I've been doing, being in cardiovascular shape, doing cardio year round to some degree, right. I believe that's what led to my extremely it, fast recovery. It makes a difference, right? Look at what doctors, like if you watch the Dr. Stu videos, right? Like I'm doing Z Health now with Dr. Stu, working on joint health, joint mobility, you unlocking the power, actually greater strength by, by unlocking your joints. I mean, this stuff's amazing. And it's actually helped me recover from my little knee thing. Yeah, now my movements are limited. For example, I can't do a straight leg deadlift due to the core activation. So um, we worked on these, doing some nice body weight lunges. Um, I, am, I am limited, but I'm getting done what I can within the parameters of what the doctor um, assigned me. And the breathing techniques I've learned from doctors do have really helped a lot. Yeah, what you didn't see is Mark doing 10 minutes of breathing exercise to get ready for this. Yeah. Right, so we warmed up, got the breathing in, got the stretches in before we even hit the gym. Yeah, now this is a very interesting oh, set here. Watch this, watch this. Wait, it's coming. It's I coming. My eye. Hold it, hold it. It's a calf oh, wait, raise. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, there they are. No, wait, wait. Watch the video work. Hold on. They're wait small, for it. But they're wait shredded. for it. And the extreme calf close. That was nice. Like that, that was really nice. And this is the last set occlusion training. You guys can yell at him, not me. I'm hitting so occlusion you, training twice a week. It works for me. I've had no elbow joint pain at all. So I've just been doing this twice and, a week. And if you see, that's the application for occlusion training. You fucking know it all, YouTube hippies. Is, um, is the fact that when you're injured, it helps you get the same stimulus with less weight. Exactly, and it feels good. Because when you're training hard, even though you're hurt. That's not a game. And that's not Boom! a game.